I am originally from central Kansas, grew up in a small town called Lindsborg. Um, my dad was a coach, so he did a little moving, so I actually was born in Illinois, lived in South Dakota before I got to Kansas. I first went to college at the United States Air Force Academy, stayed there one year, one glorious year, and, and then transferred to uh, um, Bethany College, who is in our conference. This was my sixth season at Ottawa. I'm starting my seventh year. The, uh, there was a head coaching vacancy here, um, and I applied for it. And uh, I was uh, actually an offensive coordinator at a Division II school in South Dakota. And like I said, I grew up in, in uh, Kansas, so it was a chance to get closer to home and become a head football coach. Uh, it means a lot of things. Um, I would say that just seeing the program grow um, from, you know, what it was at when I inherited it in 2004, and and some of the rough stretches uh, when we were we were not able to scholarship as as well as our administration has been able to help us lately. Um, but to see guys go, you know, from freshman and, and graduate, and um, but then also to see our senior class this year go from a team that was one and nine and to a team that was 11 and one this year. Oh, I, I think that it's a, a similar thing to what we try to tell our student athletes is that everybody has an opportunity. Um, for me, it was an opportunity to be a head football coach um, and to run my own program. Um, for students that come into Ottawa, it's an opportunity to, to be involved in, in lots of things, you know, to continue playing football in our case or you know, to be in the band or to be in forensics or to just to be in any uh, number of activities. And so I'd say that that's the special thing. Um, I grew up in a small town and, and uh, this has the qualities that of, of a small town, but I've lived in the big city and we've got the qualities of that. So it's a really nice mixture that, that makes Ottawa University a pretty special place. <laughs> uh, I, I knew at the beginning of this season, actually at the end of last season, that we had a, a pretty special group of guys. Um, I didn't know if a team was going to have to win every game in order to be conference champions or if a one-loss team would win. Um, our goal was to take one game at a time, and um, I knew that once we got to the midpoint of the season that we had a really good shot at uh, running the table and winning all our games and that it, things were going to progress to to have the big matchup game at the end of the year with friends and and it happened to play out that way and um, and I, I knew that right what right away that we'd have something special but it was good it was glad I was really happy to see how um, how it all played out in the end with the big game at the end well, our, our seniors have meant a lot, especially to our football program. Um, they have basically taken everything that we've preached, now going on six years, um, you know, initially started before them, but they've taken all the things that we've talked about, about working hard and, and playing for each other and not playing for themselves, and, and um, they have taken that and raised it up in order to be um, a conference champion, to be a uh, top-ranked team in the nation, um, to really establish um, Ottawa University above other schools in our area. Um, it, it's been really special to have this group. Uh, it's really been really nice to see them mature from young 18-year-olds and to 22- and 23-year-olds. Um, having players that come into our program like Ethan Haller um, is is great for our program um, to have a quarterback that can throw it around and, and he's very similar to some of the quarterbacks that I've coached prior to coming to Ottawa but then to have the guys around him to have Jamison Shaw's on defense and Josh Hoji's and and then on offense again Taylor Burnett and and uh, Corey Schultz's and and you know just all the guys that made you know big impacts in our program it's great to be able to work with with those players and and they all had a lot of things in common, and one of them was is they, they just like to play for each other. So that, that's exciting to be able to coach a group like that and then to also have them just play for each other each weekend. 
I think that there's a there's been a benefit as we went through the season. Um, we had more um, inquiries into our football program um, from you know potential student athletes, um, and the level of play that those players you know are currently at is much higher than what we've had in the past. So we're getting good students, and we're getting much better players to inquire about us. Um, it's a lot easier to walk into a high school or to a junior college and, and say that you are the fifth ranked team in the nation and that you are 11 and 1 as opposed to, you know, in 2006 when we were 1 and 9 and we weren't anywhere near the uh, fifth ranked team in the nation. Um, that makes it easier. Uh, you know, we're the same coaching staff and we're, the, we're a lot of the same players that were back then, but um, it has made it a lot easier. Uh, benefits wise, um, we're, we're going to be able to, I think, um, keep and retain uh, the players that we have because of the success that we've had. I think that benefits wise, it's going to help the university. Um, I've seen, you know, just people walk across campus during the fall and had a little bit more, uh, you know, um, hop in their step and, you know, everybody's kind of carrying themselves um, a little bit more prouder because of the you know, the success that we had and then also some of our other athletic programs did in the fall. So I think there's a definite benefit out there. Well, I thought we could pull it off from the get-go. I just didn't know how much we were going to spot them before halftime. And, um, you know, we figured that we charged more than we've ever charged for a ticket to get in. So we had to make it worth our, you know, fans' you know, money's worth. Um, so we figured we'd spot them, you know, a couple, two, three touchdowns and just see how we can come back in the second half. Um, but really, um, no, it was, it was something we just sat down in halftime and we made adjustments. Um, there was a lot of things that we had just missed on in the first half that I knew offensively that we were going to be able to, to do some matchups um, and defensively the same thing. And so I don't think that our guys ever thought that we were out of the game. And um, you know, I knew as soon as we started scoring a couple touchdowns that they were that they were going to be in trouble. I think we ended up scoring 35 points off of 18 plays offensively. So that's that's usually a pretty good um, predictor that you're going to win a football game. Um, I think our home field advantage that we have had for the last couple of years, um, since People's Bank Field was unveiled for our our team, has been something that we've built upon. Um, it was it was outstanding to be able to walk out and just see the crowd, you know, full to overflowing, standing room only, um, having the bleachers in the uh, end zone like we've had on a number of occasions, and having them filled up with uh, our students is is uh, just an awesome experience for our guys and and uh, just the sound that you hear when a big play happens. Um, really I think allows the kids to be you know you know energized um, I wasn't surprised that we would have had that kind of following because we had that following all year um, we we oftentimes had more fans on the visitor side um, when we were in away games than the than the people that we played um, and, and I think that's a, a tribute to our you know parents and our and our, our fan base, which, which includes alumni and community members and, and the fact that I think Ottawa University and Ottawa and the city have really started to uh, mesh well Kent together. Kessinger, I'm the head football coach at Ottawa University.